Hello everyone, and in this video we will be covering the Windows 8.1 end of support. We will also take a quick look at what Windows 8.1 was and why Microsoft made it. So let's get started. In case you didn't know, extended support for Windows 8.1 is ending on January 10th, 2023. End of support doesn't necessarily mean that you can't use the OS, but you won't get updates and technical assistance anymore. You will also get a full screen message about the end of support deadline every so often unless you dismiss it. Microsoft is advising users of 8.1 to upgrade to Windows 10 and 11 to get security updates and new features and to preferably buy a new computer to support Windows 11's new system requirements. However, this is not a big deal for most. According to StatCounter, only 2.59% of people are still using Windows 8.1 to this day. This may seem like a lot, but it is definitely less compared to Windows 7, which still has 11.18% of global Windows market share. Phew! Windows 8.1, as most of you might know, was an improvement to Windows 8, which at its launch received extreme criticism for the lack of the Start menu, which was the first version of Windows to drop it since Windows NT 3.51, which was released nearly 30 years ago. Microsoft also dropped the Start menu in favour of the Start screen to make it more touch-friendly for tablet users, but PC users found this very cumbersome. Due to this, many stayed on Windows 7, mainly due to word of mouth. There are many other reasons why Windows 8 was hated, mainly because of its focus towards tablets and gestures, such as the charms bar. And in case you were wondering, the setup process had barely changed. The only difference in the first stage was the background and a few other components. However, the OOBE, or out of box experience, had changed massively compared to Windows 7, featuring an all new Metro style setup in the third portion. The second part featured a fake boot screen instead of the fake Windows seen in Windows 7. Windows 8.1 was offered as a free upgrade from Windows 8 devices on the 17th of October 2013, which was 10 years ago. Windows 8.1 improved many of the things Windows 8 was criticised for, including reintroducing the start button, although it still opened up the start screen, and also the ability to boot to the desktop instead of the start screen. Metro apps could also be closed and minimised by hovering the cursor over the top of the screen. Even with these improvements, the lack of a start menu was still the subject of many criticisms of Windows 8.1. Speaking of the start screen, it was introduced as early as Windows 8 built 7850, where it was still calling itself Windows 7 in many places and still had the Windows 7 boot screen. This just shows that Microsoft was already going for tablet friendliness. So that leads us to today, January 10th, 2023. After almost 111 months of support, Windows 8.1 is coming to an end. Still better than Windows 8 though, which only had about 38 months of support. Although Windows 8 will go down as one of the worst operating systems in history, Windows 8.1 tried to improve that legacy, however it didn't get that far. As said before, Windows 7 still held the majority, and once Windows 10 came out, it took a while but eventually surpassed Windows 7 in terms of market share in early 2018. So that's it for this video. Hopefully now that the number of supported Windows versions is down to 2 instead of 3, Windows 12 will come soon. If you enjoyed this one, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.